Here's Marvelous Medicine, Chapter 13. Marvelous Medicine, Number 3. Here it is! cried Mr. Killick Cranky, rushing into the kitchen. One carton of flea powder for dogs and one can of brown shoe polish. George poured the flea powder into the giant stew. It was hot. Then he scooped the shoe polish out of of its can and added that as well. Stir it up, George! Shouted. Mr. Cranky. Give it another boil. We've got it this time. Ow! Bet we've got it. After Marvelous Medicine, number three had been boiled and stirred, George took a cupful of it out into the yard to try it on another chicken. Mr. Cranky ran after him, flapping his arms and hoping with excitement. Come and watch this one, he called out to Mrs. Cranky. Come what? And watch us turning an ordinary chicken into a lovely, great big one that lays eggs as large as footballs. I hope you you do it better than last time, Mrs. Cranky fo- following. Said Mrs. Cranky, following them out. said George, holding out a spoonful of medicine. Number three. Good chicken. Chick, 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 chick. Have some of this lovely medicine. A magnificent black cockerel cor- with a scarlet comb came skipping over. The cockerel looked at the spoon and it went peck. Cock-a-doo! Squawked the cockerel, shooting up into the air and coming down again. Watch him now, cried Mr. Cranky. Any moment he's going to start getting bigger and bigger. Mr. Kelly Cranky, Mrs. Cranky, and little George stood in the yard staring at the black cockerel. The cockerel stood quite still. It looked as though he had a headache. Happening to his neck, Miss, Mrs. Kinky said. It's getting longer, George said. I'll say it's getting longer, Mrs. Kinky said. Mr. Cranky for once said nothing. Last time, the l- it was the legs. Mrs. Cranky said. Now it's the neck. Who wants a chicken with a long neck? You can't eat a chicken's neck. It was an extraordinary sight. The cockroach's body had grown up all. But the neck was about six feet long. 
<coughs> All right, George, Mr. Frankie said. What else have you forgotten? I don't know, George said. Oh, yes, you do, Mr. Frankie said. Come on, boys, think. There's probably just one little thing missing. And you've got to remember it. I put in some engine oil from the garage, George said. Did you have that on your list? There you go, said Mr. King. That's the answer. How much did you put in? Half a bit, George said. Mr. Cranky ran to the garage and found another half of oil and some antifreeze. George called after him. I sloshed a bit in of antifreeze.